at the beginning of the trailer, there's a backdrop shot with a sunrise. Um, this shot confirms what was already almost certain due to leaks. We're returning to Vice City, a fictional version of Miami. And in terms of color grading, Rockstar is once again opting for soft pastel colors just like they did in Gite Vice City. In the distance, we get a first glimpse of the skyline with some car models in the foreground and a fictional beer brand called Patriot Beer. Perhaps most importantly in this shot, we see the prison. It looks quite large and will likely be an important location in the storyline. The next shots take us into the prison where we meet the protagonist, Lucia, who is in a counseling session. This is significant because there are rumors circulating about a prison break in the opening sequence of the game. Similar to the bank heist in North Yankton and GTV, while this scene doesn't confirm it, it makes it more likely. We don't know why Luke is in jail, but she attributes it to something. The reason could be a crucial part of the story. In Lucia's cell, we also see what appears to be a family portrait, suggesting that we might get to know Lucia's family during the game, similar to Michael or Franklin's families in GTV. In the next shot, the significantly improved water representation compared to the previous installment is noticeable. The reflections, water displacement from the ships, and the increased visibility underwater are impressive. There are already graphic comparisons with GTV on YouTube. Although this is just a trailer and not the finished game, Rockstar is not known for drastically enhancing their trailers later on, so what we see here may be very close to the actual game. We also see a yacht in motion, suggesting the possibility of players being able to drive it. Additionally, there are dolphins and seagulls giving us a glimpse of the decorative world, which surpasses Los Santos by a considerable margin. For those familiar with real Los Angeles, it's known that downtown with its skyscrapers represents only a tiny part of the vast city. Vice City seems to offer more in this regard. Why 69 when you can 919? Similar to GTA V, we'll be able to explore not only city, but also its immediate surroundings. This is evident in the shot featuring a swamp region typical of real Florida. There also appears to be a propeller-driven swamp boat. In the next shot, we see a diverse wildlife with flamingos, alligators, and more, suggesting a significant improvement over GTA V. The scene shifts to the beach, where the population density of NPCs immediately stands out. A comparison with GTA V speaks volumes, including the detailed NPCs, and notably, the diversity in bodybuild, size, muscle mass, etc. NPCs are not just standing around. There's activity everywhere. For instance, the person on the left is applying sunscreen to the lady and the couple on the right seems to be shooting booty shorts for social media. There's even a cute little shy wah, mm. suggesting that NPCs may now also have pets in the city. In the next shot, the two helicopter models known from GTA 5 are recognizable on a road sign. The names of several locations in the game are listed Kelly County, the airport, stockyard, and downtown. The scene unfolding is intriguing with the lady in the convertible leaning out of the roof while the guy in the car ahead films out of the window. On the right side, there's an auto club meeting, and yes, there are low riders again. It's possible that this could lead to a mission series involving car races and tuning as these were significant gameplay elements in the Los Santos Tuners update for GTA Online. And for those concerned, yes, there are strip clubs again. In this shot, we notice a lot happening at once. In the foreground, there are uh, strip club things, and in the background, a birthday celebration seems to be taking place. If this level of event density makes it into the final game, it would be impressive. Vice City also looks visually appealing at night. On the right side of the image is a Galaxy Super Yacht, which in GTA Online was a luxury item with limited use. Perhaps in GTA 6 we can own and navigate. A tennis court is visible, raising hopes for various side activities and sports such as golf or tennis. There also appears to be a return of toll booths where players can choose to stop or simply drive through and earn two stars each time. On the Vice City Strip, there's a lot happening too. Auto enthusiasts may notice models from GTA 5, such as the Fiesta Comets 2 or the Grotta Cheetah Classic, resembling 
real life car brands, Porsche and Ferrari. Alongside strip clubs, there are regular nightclubs again, possibly featuring missions and interactions similar to the after hours update for GTI online. In the next shot, an area likely representing the keys, an island chain off the southern tip of Florida is visible. The game world around Vice City could be substantial once again. In GTA 5, Blaine County featured many mountains and natural elements. On the right, there's another seaplane. And on the left, a moving cargo ship. This is a first as cargo ships in previous GTA games were static in the harbor. Now, let's talk about social media. In GTA 5, Rockstar mocked Facebook with Live Invader. This satire now seems to take aim at current trends, especially TikTok and Instagram reels. The video features various characters on social media, including some humorously familiar ones from GTA games. The use of social media will likely be a central point of social commentary, as is typical in the GTA series. In a surveillance camera shot, a crocodile surprises a convenience store. Again, the question arises, cutscene or dynamic event that can actually happen in the game. The same applies to the following shot, which shows police body cam footage. It could be a cutscene, but as a gameplay element, it could be potentially interesting. In GTA 5, players could follow current city events on television, even when online players cause chaos in the city. What if these events can now be experienced firsthand through the body cams of police officers? The following shots showcase numerous eccentric NPCs on social media as familiar from GTA games. The username Planet Leonidaman is amusing, with Leonida being the fictional version of Florida. Florida Man is a well-known internet meme referring to the many eccentric people in Florida. Uh, one of the eccentric characters is likely the Thrill Billy Mud Club. The vehicles in the background and the terrain suggest that off-road vehicles could play a more significant role in Vice City. Perhaps the Thrill Billy Mud Club organizes off-road car races, in contrast to the street racing club shown earlier. A somewhat menacing old lady likely falls into the category of eccentric NPCs, but the caption reveals that one of the neighborhoods in Vice City is named Hamlet. The advertisement on the left is another example of GTA 6 not shying away from societal satire focusing on mood enhancing medications which are increasingly prevalent today. At around 58 seconds into the trailer, we see Jason for the first time, the second protagonist of GTA 6. He, along with Lucia, appears to be on the run after a heist. Weasel News is back, but there also seems to be a Spanish language news channel. And there appears to be a biker gang, possibly involving off-road or street races with quads and motorcycles for players. The Florida Man meme is referenced again in the background of this car stating race by customs. It's not surprising, but car customization will undoubtedly be a significant feature again. In another shot, Lucia and Jason are seen shopping, and it's clear that they are indeed a couple. Trust. Trust. Confirming the last detail from the leaks. Towards the end, there's a release time frame, with 2025 being quite broad. According to hints from the CEO of Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two, the release is planned for the fiscal year 2025, running until March 2025. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Until next time, 